In this video, I'll talk about inflammatory responses. Now, whenever you are bitten by an ant or a nail is poking your skin, you would feel an injury. Now, that injury could cause an inflammation. The characteristic signatures for inflammation is pain, swelling, redness, and warmth in the local region. So, these are the key features of inflammation. So, let me tell you, inflammation, though it is painful and it, it's itchy sometimes but inflammation is a defense response it's good for your body it's a response by which your body alarms the immune system to take over and to fight the uh, insult so definitely the inflammation is a defense response so let's just draw a portion of the skin here we have the epidermis dermis and the hypodermis and below that there are blood vessels capillaries etc innervating all over the skin so for a simplicity purpose the capillary is blown up and drawn like a big chunk now let's say a nail a rusty nail and en enwrapped by several pathogens and etc has entered your uh, some part of your skin and as a result several bacteria associated with that has invaded now this situation is very comparable to the border is broken so the nail is poking your skin that means the border your first line of defense is broken and let's say these bacteria are comparable with terrorists which come when the fence is broken in a country so they cross the border now we know in a country there are patrolling police officers that are always patrolling the border area looking for potential invaders and uh, terrorists like that so in body those patrolling police officers are basically macrophages and dendritic cells which roam around the just beneath the skin looking for potential uh, pathogens or targets which they can phagocytos so whenever a pathogen is is entering the body the dendritic cell or the macrophages would first try to recognize what is associated with the pathogen so they would recognize so-called pathogen associated molecular patterns by their toll like receptors on their surface and they would immediately secreting inflammatory mediators especially the inflammatory cytokines of il1 and il6 family and sometimes also tnf alpha now apart from that they would also secrete chemokines these chemokines are chemoattractants which would attract further other macrophages into that area so it works like a backup signal as if the dendritic cell or the macrophage is calling for backup it would help or call in other macrophages which are residing other part of the body would come to that local site of in infection or local site of innervation where they can fight and combat the situation better now these inflammatory mediators which would call in other macrophages and dendritic cell into the location of uh, invasion now not only that the dendritic cell would engulf the pathogen then it would chew up the pathogen and display some of its antigens onto a class 2 antigen class 2 mhc molecule because these are classical antigen presenting molecule cells they also mobilize to the lymph node in the lymph node which is like an army barrack it would present that antigen to t and the b cell thereby leading to t and b cell activation so this is very much comparable that this patrolling police officer has gone to the army base and interacting with the armies telling them about the in, uh, invasion situation and all so that is how the adaptive immune system could be also activated by these patrolling police officer cells that mean the dendritic or the macrophages now but what happens just locally we would look at that so we know that neutrophil also have phagocytotic activity but neutrophils are hovering around inside the blood capillaries near that so it turns out post injury wherever there is an invasion neutrophils come out from the blood capital capillary to the tissue level tissue level and they try to engulf the pathogens but how does that happen and why does not neutrophil always come out in the tissue space and stay there it, it the reason is 
the blood capital cap capillary is tight all the time so you don't allow the neutrophil to move out but by a process known as extravasation the neutrophils monocytes etc these blood cells can cross the uh, blood vessel and reach the tissue space where they would differentiate into specific immune effector cells now here is a picture where it shows that the neutrophil basophils the monocytes are all hovering around in the uh, blood vessel now when there is an inflammation the capillary endothelial cells starts expressing specific adhesion molecules this adhesion interaction between the neutrophils or any other white blood cells and these adhesion molecules on the capillary endothelial cells slow them down as a result they are now immobilized at the same time due to several other inflammatory uh, mediators cytokines histamines etc would increase the permeability of these endothelial cells and leaving gaps between the capillary endothelial cells as a result the neutrophil can easily be squeezed out from that capillary and can enter the tissue space this process is known as lymphocyte extravasation once they are in the uh, capillary out of the capillary and in the tissue space neutrophils mast cells etc can degranulate also basophils as well they can degranulate and secrete histamine and many other inflammatory mediators like prostaglandin and etc so which would further vasodilate or make the blood capillaries more dilate along with these immune cells fluids also leak out from this capillary that causes a temporary swelling but all these responses that the body is generating after these pathogen innervation is a defense response a alarm response now the immune system is more alarmed about the fact that there is a invasion happened in somewhere of the body and they are sending reinforcement to that places so as a summary of the inflammatory response so the inflammatory response would may start with tissue injury some insect bite or anything and the primary response is phagocytosis of those uh, pathogens by macrophages or dendritic cell the long time response is sending out inflammatory signals that is a calling for backup and also make taking out more neutrophils neutrophils monocytes etc into the tissue space such that they can combat the situation together so that is how inflammatory response though it sometimes could be highly painful and itchy they help the body to fight against pathogens so if you like my video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you